p.m. As soon as I opened my mouth, I knew something was wrong. Hundreds of thousands of local viewers and millions more around the world watched the medical emergency unfold right before their eyes. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. CBS2 reporter Serene Branson stricken during her post Grammy report. To be honest with you, I started crying right away because I was scared. Serene talks about that night and for the first time watches the video that shocked the world as doctors unlock the medical mystery which could affect millions of women. Good evening, I'm Paul Majors. And I'm Pat Harvey. Serene's on-air medical scare was difficult to watch and left all of us and many of you viewers worried about her health. Well, tonight we know what caused Serene's slurred speech and we're happy to have Serene herself explain what happened to her that night. <laughs> As of course, look at you. For CBS2 reporter Serene Branson, the first day back at work today. You ready to see some people who really love you was not to report on the news <laughs> serene was the news what really happened to serene on grammy night serene well a very very heavy uh, heavy divertation tonight was there something that happened earlier in the day did you feel something funny something different earlier before your 11 o'clock i started to get a really bad headache mm. and i thought you're tired, it's been a long day. And around 10 o'clock that night, I was sitting in the live truck with my field producer and the photographer. Mm -hmm. And I was starting to look at some of my notes. I started to think the words on the page are blurry. And I could notice that my thoughts were not forming the way they normally do. So you go on the air, because you figure this is what I do. I'm a reporter and this is a live shot. And you, did you really feel at that time you can get through it? As soon as I opened my mouth, I knew something was wrong. I was having trouble, trouble rather remembering the word for Grammy. I knew what I wanted to say, but I didn't have the words to say it. And at the time when you were talking, when you were tossing to your package, you knew what you were saying was not what you wanted to say. Right. Obviously, you were aware. I, I was aware of this isn't making sense. Okay. But let's go to Tara Tazen, those for the bit, they have the pit. Right after the live shot, obviously, uh, my producer, Carrie, and um, several photographers surrounded me right away. She basically dropped the microphone and started to shake a little bit. Carrie Mahler, CBS2 Entertainment producer, oh recalls the frightening moment. I went and grabbed her. I pulled her out of the live shot. I wanted to make sure she was sitting down. The first priority really wasn't our coverage of the Grammys anymore. It was Serene's health. They sat me down on an area right by Staples initially gave me some water and just, you know, are you okay? Are you okay? And I still couldn't form words at that point. You know, to be honest with you, I started crying right away because oh. I was scared. I was embarrassed. I was terrified and confused, confused what had just happened. What did you think at that point? I know you said you were terrified. Did you think you just had a stroke? The word stroke never came into my mind, but mm -hmm. medical emergency was in my mind. The okay. word something is something medically is going wrong. I can't feel my hand, I can't feel my cheek. They said, don't worry, we're calling the paramedics, the paramedics are on their way. Oh. And I even remember turning to Carrie, <laughs> my field producer, and saying, I didn't get to explain why Lady Gaga was in the egg. That's what and, you said? Yes. All right. Well, now we know you're okay. <laughs> So what did they do? You, did they check, they your check my vital signs. They took me in the in the uh, ambulance and they checked my blood pressure, my temperature. They took some blood. They said my vitals looked normal. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I've regained my speech. Um, I was still groggy and confused, but I could talk again. Um, and they said, "Well, your vital signs look normal. Would you like to go to the hospital?" And at this point, I'm still, I'm still confused. I'm scared. I'm terrified. I, no, I just want to go home. I just want to go home. What happened to Serene, CBS2 learned, can affect millions of women of all ages. 75% of people who have these symptoms are women. Serene's doctor, Neil Martin, head of neurosurgery at the Ronald Reagan UCLA Medical Center, says Serene suffered a severe version of a migraine. In her case, a complex migraine. It's a sign that something happened in that area of the brain, and our job is to figure out what it was. The kicker was when she said to me, well, you know, my mother had an episode just like this, mm -hmm. happened a few times, she got a headache, she couldn't talk. 
The doctor says this is often hereditary, but there is good news. It can resolve itself on its own, and a patient only needs treatment if it happens over and over again. And in this case, the fact that this happened on live TV could provide very valuable knowledge to researchers. So this is the first that you know of, or first video that... It's one, it's one of the first I've ever seen where someone is captured right in the middle of an episode, and you really get, you get the sense of what it sounds like. You see the shock on her face because she doesn't know where it's coming from. It's so unusual to have a full video of somebody in the middle of an episode that we'll, we'll probably ask Serene's permission to use this to train medical students and doctors in the future. To have this happen live and to have so many people witness it, even before you yourself. So I'm going to ask you the question, do you want to see it? I think it's probably time. CBS 2's Serene Branson is live at the Staples Center with highlights and backstage coverage we're seeing for the very first time. Serene. Well, a very, very heavy, uh, heavy divertation tonight. We had a very Darison bite. Let's go ahead, Tara, Tara's in those for the bit. They have the pit. <laughs> That's what happened. I'm well, I will laughing. say it was shorter than it felt. <laughs> Serene, the thing is, you were trying to charge through that. You were powering through your live shot. So the fact that this happened and you realized it at the time, and now you see it. I knew what I was trying to say, let's take a look, because mm -hmm. I just wanted to get to the video. I knew yeah. something was wrong. I wanted to get to the video. And like you said, my cadence. It was there. <laughs> let's Everything, take a look. Right. Right. And that's but that what just, I was trying so to say. So just the struggle to get that out. Yeah. And I could see my eyes kind of shifting around. Now that you've seen it, what do you think? What was the, did you still expect it to bring this kind of attention? I think it's clear from watching it <laughs> that I was not drunk or on drugs as I'm heard, as I heard, you know, that was reported out there. <laughs> That's clear. It's clear I'm having a medical condition. But I think what resonated for most people was the human crisis of it, or you know, the human element that, oh my gosh, is she okay? The outpouring of support has been amazing. I mean, and what's interesting, there have been people who've emailed me from Canada, hmm. New Zealand, France, saying, I have migraine. I think what you had was a complicated migraine or a, an episode related to migraine. So. It happens. It's, you know, people have it out there. We come into people's lives often at the worst time in their life right. or a very traumatic, tragic time. I'm going to turn this into a positive. And if I can at least let people know that I'm okay and talk about the issue and let people know that it is something serious, that it is a medical condition, then that's what I'd like to do. When are you coming back to work? I am anxious and eager to get back to being at work and I'm ready to be telling the story and not the story. And not be the story. <laughs> I gotta get ready for the Oscars now, Pat. <laughs> okay, good answer. Wow. Yeah, did you have any second thoughts at all about not going to the hospital that night? Nope, uh, because again, she couldn't explain what happened to her, mm -hmm. but once the paramedics looked at her and said, well, your vital signs appear normal and mm -hmm. fine, she just wanted the comfort of her home. She mm. wanted to be home. She was embarrassed, as she said, yeah. and frightened, but she thought that was a place that she could find solace. And then we learned, too, I, which I, I don't think many of us knew, it's, in this case, some of these things are hereditary, right? Yes. And her mother yes. had episodes. Yes. Here's the question. Did, did she know about her mother's episodes before her episode? Not at the time. I mean, and it's not something like, you know, if a parent has breast cancer, mm -hmm. colon cancer, those kinds of things you know are hereditary and can be genetic, but... She didn't know anything about that. And at the time, her mother was not diagnosed. She just knew she experienced several of these episodes over a period of her life, but didn't really share with Serene right, because right. she didn't feel uh, necessary to do it. Yeah. But she did tell me when she saw her, that's the first thing that ran through her that's mind. That's a real positive that can come out of this. Oh, and that's exactly what Serene yeah, says. She absolutely. was, she's willing to have people know what happened to her. And you saw her watching that yeah. tape, yeah. it was a little, worried about that, but she says, Pat, no, I want to see it. I've got to face it sometime, so why not now? She hadn't watched reports up until today. She didn't go on the internet. She got emails from work from people from all over the mm -hmm. world, but she herself did not venture and look 
at what people were saying. Well, you know this as well as I. She's a very talented, smart young woman, and it will be nice oh. to have her back at work, won't it? And just lovely. Yeah. And you heard that. She wants to go to the Oscars. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. I'm sure she'll get the assignment. <laughs> well, Serene's Courageous Story continues at 4.30 a.m. with Kent and Sabila on CBS2 News, then at 7 a.m. on The Early Show, Serene's first live interview on her Grammy night health scare. That's all tomorrow on CBS2.